So, when I was researching about who is the actual ancestor of my cat Mew Mew, two candidates come into the picture. The African wild cat was known for being the OG ancestor of the domestic cat, and the Asiatic wild cat was very unknown and underrated. A possible candidate and the topic of today's video, the question arises, who is the ancestor of my Mew Mew and all the domestic cats in which we, cat lover addicts, are obsessed with? Let's find out with the wild cat's evolution and its origin of domestication. The Asiatic wild cat, Felis libica ornata, is a fascinating branch of the wild feline family tree, owes its existence to ancient migrations, climate shift, and remarkable adaptations to harsh environments, originating from the African wild cat, Felis libica libica, that began its Eurasian expansion around 10,000 to 20,000 years ago. Through the Levant and the Arabian Peninsula, these felines diverged from their European forest-dwelling relatives to specialize in arid and semi-arid zones. This evolutionary path led to the development of paler, sun-colored fur for camouflage, ear tufts, possible enhancing hearing in open terrain, and water-efficient kidneys crucial for survival without readily available water. This explains the Asiatic wildcat's wide distribution across Central Asia, the Middle East, and the Asian subcontinent. The question arises, which cat is guilty for having these cute and funny descendants we all love today? Well, it is the Asiatic wildcat's close relatives in the Near East, who are also the first to undergo domestication around 9,000 to 10,000 years ago, leading to the modern house cat. These are just the African wild cats in the Middle East that were lucky enough to find themselves in a Mesopotamian granary, catching mice and making friends in high places. But the Asiatic wild cat is purely a wild cat species, although a paradoxical situation exists where Asiatic wild cats still interbreed with feral domestic cats, creating hybrids that threaten the genetic purity of wild populations. With modern feral cats in Pakistan even carrying unique Asiatic wildcat DNA. Tragically, this integration, coupled with habitat fragmentation, has already led to the genetic swamping of three of the original seven subspecies, leaving the last pure populations as living fossils in regions like the Kizilkum Desert, the Run of Kush, and the Dashte Margo. Nevertheless, Hybrid cats cannot thrive in the wild because they lack traits uniquely to purebred Asiatic wild cat, such as its ear tufts. These tufts, sometimes called lynx tips, may serve multiple purposes relating to camouflage and communication. Some scientists believe they enhance hearing precision by potentially funneling sound or distributing wind noises aiding in the detection of faint prey sounds in open habitats. They could also act as visual signals for communication with other cats, possibly indicating mode or status. Furthermore, the thick ear fur, including the tufts, likely provides protection against the dust and extreme temperatures prevalent in deserts and steppes. This adaptation to arid environments is further highlighted by other features such as its bushy ring tail, which aids in balance and signaling. Large wide set eyes providing excellent night vision for hunting and long powerful hind legs enabling explosive pounces on prey. Notably, by a unique method of burial ambush unique to the cat besides the sun cat. Unlike most wild cat that actively stalk prey, this wild cat often digs shallow pits in soft sands or soils and lies flat buried inside relying on its excellent camouflage to become nearly invincible. It can wait motionless for hours until unsuspecting prey like gerbils or lizards approach, at which point it explodes upward to trap the victim before delivering a fatal bite. This ambush predation style, shared primarily with the sand cut but employed in rockier terrains, Set it apart from other active chasing or pouncing tactics of other small wildcats like jungle cats or African wildcats. It also has a large collection of prey items, mostly small mammals such as rodents and hares, but also birds, 
reptiles and insects and also obtains most of its moisture from its prey, allowing it to survive with very little water intake. But beyond hunting, the Asiatic wildcat displays unusual social and psychological traits. Despite being largely solitary, it shows a surprising tolerance for other animals, engaging in behaviors like multiple individuals feeding simultaneously on a large carcass with minimal aggression or utilizing neutral zones by sharing latrine sites among themselves and also with foxes and even jungle cats. To cope with extreme heat, it employs a heat-dissolving siesta, entering a semi-dormant state during the day with significant fluctuations in body temperature. A level of metabolic flexibility rarely seen in mammals of its 3 to 6 kg size. The Asiatic wildcat reproductive cycle typically involves a mating season that often occurs in the spring, followed by a gestation period of approximately 60 to 65 days, culminating in litters of 2 to 4 kittens that are raised in concealed dens like rock crevices or burrows. Uniquely among wildcats, the Asiatic wildcat exhibits a bizarre tolerance for hybridization being the only known species to voluntarily approach villages to mate with feral domestic cats, producing hybrids that often lose their natural wariness to humans, a trait that may have played a role in ancient cat domestication. Sadly, despite a lifespan of 10 to 12 years in the wild and up to 15 years in captivity, the Asiatic wildcat faces severe threats from habitat loss hunting and this very hybridization which dilutes its crucial genetic purity. Current conservation efforts to protect this ecologically vital desert specialist include the establishment of protected areas in India's Desert National Park and Iran, the use of camera trap monitoring to study their population and community education programs aimed at reducing hunting alongside scientific pushes for genetic studies to identify purebred individuals and the potential for captive breeding initiatives. So guys, there you have it. If you enjoy learning about unknown small wild cats, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification so that you'll be up to date when I release new unknown hidden wild cats into the internet. Another wildcat with unique special adaptations is the Cod Cod. Feel free to have a watch and as always, stay curious, stay wild and thank you very much for watching.